negotiations between Malaysia and South Korean fighter aircraft manufacturer Kai for the procurement of 18 fighters have stalled, allowing India's Tejas to emerge as the leading candidate. Sources in the Indian and Malaysian defense industries confirmed to Times of India that the country's finance ministry has returned the proposal for the acquisition of 18 FA-50 jets, requesting Kai to stick to the basic price of 3.5 billion ringgit Malaysia. Kai set the price at 4.2 billion Malaysian ringgit, substantially more than the Chinese JF-17s, 3.4 billion Malaysian ringgit, and India's Tejas Mark 1's 3.75 billion Malaysian ringgit. FA-50 and Tejas FA-50s, the Fighting Eagle, which, like Tejas, is a light combat aircraft. The FA-50 is the most advanced version of the T-50 possessing more internal fuel capacity, enhanced avionics, a longer radome and a tactical datalink. An F-A-50 aircraft can carry up to 4.5 tons of weapons. It can carry precision-guided weapons, including the AGM-65, Maverick air-to-ground missile, short-range AIM-9 Sidewinder, air-to-air missiles, GBU-38B Joint Direct Attack Munitions, CBU-105 sensor-fused weapons, MK-82 low-drag general-purpose bombs, and cluster bomb units, are among the weapons that can be mounted aboard the aircraft's CBUs. Additionally, the aircraft is equipped with a 20mm Gatling gun, with three barrels and Lao 3A, 19-tube 2.75 rocket launcher, for shooting folding fin aerial rockets. The installation of AIM-120C missiles was previously considered, but these plans have not yet been implemented. As a result, fighters were left with AIM-9 infrared homing missiles and an A-50 Gatling-type cannon. However, it cannot be ruled out that in the future, the FA-50 could still be modified to use the AIM-120C. Kai is reportedly working on integrating use of extra long-range AIM-120 Scorpions, as well as superior short-range AIM-9X missiles. But the main disadvantage of the FA-50 as a modern fighter is the lack of air combat capabilities beyond visual visibility, that is, missing capable radar. It carries an Israeli LM-2032 Pulse Doppler radar, with an effective range of 100 km, for detecting fighter-size aircraft. It can be used to lock onto air, ground and sea targets. The ELM nonetheless has shorter range and is less capable than the AESA radars now equipping in India's Tejas, but Samsung is apparently looking to develop an AESA radar for use in the Golden Eagle. Another characteristic that the FA-50 planes lack is an air refueling capability, which enables aircraft to stay in the air for far longer than normal and may also result in fuel and time savings during longer manned missions. For that, Kai has awarded a contract to Cobham Mission Systems to provide an air refueling probe solution for the FA-50 advanced jet aircraft. The air refueling probe for the FA-50 jet will allow it to conduct air refueling with the hose and drogue tanker. The FA-50, though highly maneuverable, it has a lower wing loading than the Agile F-16, meaning can make tighter turns, it is still not in the same league as top, fourth generation fighters. FA-50 aircraft has been deployed and operated in the Republic of Korea Air Force since 2013. The Philippines has also bought 12 FA-50 light fighter variants. Iraq signed a deal in December 2013 for 24 FA-50 variant T-50 IQ aircraft as well as additional equipment and pilot training to be supplied over a 20-year period. The Colombian Air Force selected 20 TA-50 and FA-50 Golden Eagles as its newest jet trainer and fighter in April 2022. Poland is also purchasing 48 FA-50s, according to a media interview with Marius Blaszczak, the country's defense minister, in July 2022. While the FA-50's air-to-air capabilities are currently not feature complete, but future modifications to the engines, radar, and notably air-to-air -air missiles, indicate that the Golden Eagle's capacity may grow greatly over time. And based on pending orders for the aircraft, the FA-50 seems to be prepared to see extensive deployment in the following decade. Tejas is a multifunctional fighter aircraft. It is fitted with an active electronically scanned radar for critical operation capability. 
Tejas is a single-engined, lightweight, highly agile, multi-role supersonic fighter. It has quadruplex digital fly-by-wire flight control system with associated advanced flight control laws. LCAs are more maneuverable due to their reduced size. Better maneuverability aids in getting into better positions to shoot and score the kill quicker. Another feature of Tejas is the in-flight refueling probe. Air-to-air -air refueling is an effective method of increasing the endurance and range of aircraft by refueling them in flight. The mid-air refueling of the indigenously developed light combat aircraft placed India in an elite group of countries having air-to-air -air refueling system for military planes. The main mission of Tejas is to serve as an air-to-air -air combat platform with increased ground attack capabilities. In terms of design, the Tejas fighter is classified as a delta-wing aircraft. That is, when assaulted, it will be less likely to crash. Tejas Mark II wings are 30 cm longer than Tejas Mark I wings. It denotes that the Hull Tejas has a faster top speed, turn rate, and climb rate. Other advantages are low cost, low maintenance, which will help in producing more aircraft, which also boosts producing more pilots. Thus the Tejas offers good bang for the buck and an accessible price point for less wealthy countries. The FA-50's main objective is to serve as a trainer aircraft with slightly augmented combat qualities. But the main objective of Tejas is combat. This automatically gives it an edge over the Fighting Eagle. Aside from that, there are a few drawbacks to Tejas aircraft, such as the American GEF-404 engine that is incorporated in the MK-1. The same engine is utilized in the FA-50. The F-414 GE fighter jet engines are much more powerful than the GE-404 engine that would be used in the Tejas MK-2. The fighter jet is also outfitted with components manufactured by British firms like a quartz nose cone ejection seat developed by UK's Martin Baker. Although these foreign components have added to Tejas's advanced capabilities and avionics, but they have a downside as well. Since India is reliant on these foreign components, it cannot independently sell the Tejas fighter jet without clearance from partners. The Tejas Mark II fighter is not only more powerful than the existing Mark I, but the attacking systems in it are also highly advanced. The advanced version of the fighter aircraft will soon increase the strength of the Indian Air Force. The goal for Tejas Mark II indigenization is to reach 70%, up from 62%, in Tejas Mark I-A. With its indigenous AESA radar, powerful engine, and lethal firepower, the Tejas MK-2 fighter has risen beyond the LCA category. As ADA and DRDO push forward some of the important technologies from the LCA program, more foreign components are replaced with domestically made ones that are suitably developed. These are some of the disadvantages and benefits of both aircraft, but that could be modified in the future.